Is everybody ready for a rainy day? Cloudy with a chance of bullets? Let's let's play some gnats again. Um, Parky. Parky. Wait, which one was it? I think it's this one. Would you could you please sit down, Parker? Okay, that's a little better. More levels I haven't played at all. Barky, move your butt. Move your butt out of the screen area, please. Thank you. Nothing can get us. Perfectly safe! Heavy Rain. I still haven't played Heavy Rain. I played... Um, what's the other one called? Beyond Two Souls. I enjoyed it. Some definitely bad parts. I'm interested in David Cage's new thing, but I'm just kind of resigned to the fact that he's gonna have almost brilliant stuff with some really stupid crap thrown in there that kind of wrecks it. It's not so bad that I would consider it not worth playing, but like the whole hot teens harass the nerdy teen thing in the middle of Beyond Two Souls is really bad. I almost rage quit, or like, hate quit. It wasn't hard, it was just stupid. Um, oh no, we missed just one! But yeah, it, it almost wrecked the whole thing for me. Um, it turned out to not be so persistently stupid. Jeez, I'm just not very good at these. Um, we're back to baby noises, by the way. Um, what, what was I talking about? It just It's really cool, interesting game, but there's some stuff that's just so heavy-handed or stupid or whatever that it just kind of makes it a little disappointing on the whole. My lack of practice is getting, becoming kind of obvious in this area. I'm not really watching very closely. Maybe maybe I should have called it an episode or a night after the last video. I'm continuing right off the last episode. Last two episodes, actually. I sort of hoping to finish this all up, but maybe I should take a little break or practice or something before the last one, if this is how I'm going to do. Also, I'm pretty sure that the bullets from the birds are supposed to be poop because it's white and birds. There, there must be some chemical reason birds poop white. That's so nasty. Very oddly peaceful place here. Very interesting segue. Ah. Speaking of segue, there's these stupid hover quote-unquote hoverboard things that all they are is a segue without the pole. That's like what people are calling hoverboards these days. And idiots keep getting hurt on them. That's just so dumb. It's not a hoverboard, it's just some derpy fake skateboard that has some auto-stabilization thing. It's just a segue. Call it what it is. Like we're kind of hardcore. I guess the, the best way to stay dry in the rain is to get put at playing bullet hell games. Myth busted. Weather forecast. We got Dreamcast logos raining down on from the sky. I'm not afraid of thunder because I'm dense as rock. Zapdos! Come to think of it, didn't we see some birds that look a little like uh, Moltres earlier? I'm not sure if we've seen Articuno. I do recall some vaguely. Oh, I saw this edited image of what it would look like if Moltres didn't have the flames. It's just a big dumb chicken. It's basically all it is. Though honestly, Lots of people love the Gen 1 Pokemans. Um, there's a lot of pretty lazy designs that no one really likes to mention. And a lot of, not necessarily lazy, but just kind of bad. Mr. Mime, Tangela. Um, 
And then there's, you know, just, just actually a rat. Just actually, well, weird standing Buddha cat. I still like Gen 1, but I mean... Let's not pretend they were, you know, all completely original characters do not steal. They've always just been, you know, let's take an animal and make it slightly more interesting. That is pretty much, and give it a pun for a name. Are Japanese, are the Japanese names for Pokemon puns? Because I'm pretty sure literally every single English name is a pun, and I know puns are very common in Japanese, so... I just, I wonder, like, that's one thing that doesn't translate well is puns. Like, even if you keep a pun, like, you can't really keep a pun unless there's, like, some insane coincidence that they still work. You can, you know, replace a pun with a different pun, but, you know, sort of the way languages work, you can't really translate the pun without, you know, awful, unfunny translator's notes. Which is why it's always pretty impressive when they manage to keep the spirit of jokes or replace a pun. There's, some, there's something in Earthbound. If you haven't read Legends of Localization for Earthbound, it is so good. There's so much interesting stuff. Um, you guys are kind of making this annoying. Okay. I, I'm kind of wishing I was Anna so I could uh, not worry about having to be in front of things. I'm not sure my bomb didn't trigger. I guess it doesn't matter. Electric dung beetles over here. And now I'm thinking of Neopets. I, I had a Neopets account when I was like younger than nine, I think. And I can't for the life of me remember what the heck my thing was. And then there was another Neopets account I made later. Wouldn't it be cool having Battle Fantasy V. That would be cool. <laughs> it was just constantly sunny and nice. Routine airstrikes. That sounds like worms weather. Routine airstrikes. Um. Also, I mentioned Epic Battle Fantasy V. I, for all I know, Matt was trolling or something. I haven't been watching that super closely. I've been slightly distant from Blubble. It's slime money. Um. Like, it could be a joke. I have no idea. I I don't have inside information on this one. Um, if there is an epic Battle Fantasy V, I mean, it wouldn't be, like, actually done for, like, a while. I'd, I don't know how long. But, um, I would definitely try to have at least a video showing off a bit of it. Um, I might try to make it one of my, you know, longer series Let's Plays. Sort of weird. I, I feel like I'm going backwards, but in a positive way, because uh, there's a lot of stuff I used to do, like the Flash games and the showing full games that I think I kind of never should have stopped doing, but um, I had my reasons and I enjoy a lot of what I do now, but uh, I just want to sort of keep the best of both worlds. Oh man, there was something I wanted to say about something. I am the absolute expert of thinking of a thing and then forgetting to talk about it. That's how you can tell these are unscripted though. There's no script because I completely forget what the hell I'm talking about at all times. Now, I've even thought about having a script for stuff and it's like, it just doesn't interest me. I, I, I'm sure that a lot of the big personalities, you know, they do multiple takes and redo stuff. Cause I mean, it's, it's acting. It's more, you know, they're actors. Like John, somebody was talking about John Tron, like he was, you know, an objective review, like not that abuse are ever objective, um, but like, you know, that this, you know, the, you know, John Tron's opinion carried extreme weight, and it's like, that, you know, this game was objectively the worst ever, because, you know, John Tron said it was just absolutely terrible, it's like, well, those videos are deliberately dramatic, so YouTube personalities are always going to be saying games are the best or the worst ever, because it's not funny to see some guy freaking out, and like, oh, this game is pretty decent. It's just so amazingly okay, and I'm just so mad that it's pretty nice. You know, you gotta have your angry video game nerd. You gotta have your screaming and your yelling. And that's, I mean, whatever floats your boat, but that doesn't float my boat. My boat floats on a different form of liquid. It's, um, 
I just prefer to be earnest and, you know, I don't like to show games that make me mad. I like to show Parker. I like to show Parker getting in my way on camera. There we go. Um, you know, I, I just like to show every, not everything on my channel will be, you know, great, but it'll be interesting. That is my, you know, number one thing is I want to make sure everything is interesting, weird, great, unique. You know, I never want to show something that's just plain bad and not have a, a damn good reason for that. Thanks, Slime Bunny. <laughs> Committing violent pot crime. Hold on. I need to screenshot that one. Bloop! Saving that one for later. Ancient temple. Godcat temples. Rest in peace, Godcat. Hmm. Yeah, I, I just... I don't know. If I have one flaw, it's that I'm too honest. Though, well, then that was that was that was a humble thing to say. Uh, anyway, but yeah, I just I don't like the whole faking it up, acting pissed at stuff, showing bad games. I mean, sometimes it can be really interesting to see a really terrible game, like um, Action 52. Um, you don't know what bad is until you play Action 52. A lot of people talk shit about Bubsy. It's just mediocre and too hard. It's really not amazingly terrible. Bubsy 3D is amazingly terrible. But the original Bubsy, it's just if Sonic was bullshit difficulty, that's basically what it is. And didn't have as good music. Though Bubsy really doesn't have too terrible music, it just doesn't have very much. Like the main, like the level one music, which is almost all I've heard of it because I'm terrible at it. Um, it's pretty decent. Damn it, why do I keep getting hit? Um, yeah, Bubsy is just mediocre, and its meme status is kind of ridiculous. I wouldn't recommend buying Bubsy just to see how terrible it is, because it's just, it's not particularly interesting how bad it is. It's just mediocre. It's mediocre in a land of mediocre platformers, because the NES and SNES were just all about the mediocre third-party platformers. So Bubsy is just so thoroughly not interesting other than the actual personality of Bubsy. It's really weird. Anyway, got sidetracked. Um, but yeah, the I just don't like, you know, showing stuff just to shit on it. That's actually one thing I rather like about um, Vinny from Vine Sauce. He plays lots of weird, stupid games, and he's pretty tolerant. Like, he'll find the good in... Like, Crypt Worlds is one of them. Um, it kind of looks awful. And there's barely, you know, game stuff to do in it. But it's just really cool and weird. And Vinny just loves it. And that's, that is exactly what I want to see. Aw, oh, crap. See, those are the Moltres. Where's the Articunos? Oh, we're, we're doing real bad here. I think I should probably take a break and continue this later. Ugh. But yes, but when I say I'm too honest, I mean I don't I don't want to sound super hubris um, with that. I just mean I, you know, I don't like to fake stuff for the audience's attention. I don't I don't like to lie to get people to like me. I just you know if if the real me is a problem, we weren't gonna be friends anyway. So may as well show the real me. I'm I'm okay with that. That's what I mean by that, and when it comes to the videos, I like to show just stuff that I actually enjoy, and I think that makes the best videos in my style. Anyway, hopefully I won't forget that I left off at episode, or video 9-4, video level. I can't even words, I have to stop. My brain is dumb. I am a meat popsicle. Welcome back to Bullet Heaven 2. I believe we were in the middle of a video, so you don't need to watch that. This has actually been quite a while since I played this, and I didn't bother to warm up, which is probably a poor idea. But, um... Ooh, you're touchy. Um, yeah, sort of the holidays 
a combination of the holidays and aviary tourney kind of threw off my plans. And uh, I do hope to get things back in order soon, but, oh my god. Um, that was, that was really stupid. Parker, 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 please, don't, don't, n n n n n Parker. Not, not the time for this, this Parker. He's just glaring at me, he, he knows. He knows he's annoying. He's like, yeah, I'm just gonna do this. You can't stop me, it's a free country. Parker, okay, okay, here. If you're gonna sit up, you have to go down. You're too tall. I should really try to start doing these from the couch or something, because he can't get in the way nearly as much. Though I really don't like him batting the TV, because I'm always afraid he'll, like, knock it over. I'm pretty sure he's heavy enough to do so if he wishes. Oh god. I don't like these things! The things that throw the fireballs. It's a sort of duck and weave, and I don't, I don't want to get in there. Alright, here's Moltres and Zapdos again. I'm sure I made that reference. Well, I mean, that's, that's just what they are. Uh, did we see Articuno before? Oh man, now that's gonna bother me. I'm wondering if I, I already made these exact comments in the earlier video. That's, that's the part of, the problem of leaving off. I'm gonna try to make sure this never happens again where I, you know, I start a Let's Play and I just screw around and I don't actually finish it for, you know, once this is... And with a game I really love, it's like, it's not like I don't want to play the game, I just... Ugh, I got myself all stressed out and I ruined it for myself. I'm gonna definitely do my best to make sure this doesn't happen again to something like this. I really should've just powered through it, or maybe I should've streamed, like, I was... Damn it. All of my bombs, just, just take them, just, just whatever. Um... Yeah, maybe I should have streamed this, because I mean... I didn't want to do a Let's Play and die a lot, but I don't really have the time to, um, you know, practice a whole ton. And... Oh, God Monolith? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, frame drop, hello. Um, yeah, I didn't really have the time to practice a whole ton, and... Um, I Whoa! What the f... It would have been good to know that one beforehand. Oh, you can break the wings. Okay, this is a pretty cool. This is like a mini boss. This is this is neat. Um, bye bye. Hey, whoa, whoa, excuse me. Oh, I forgot about bonus rounds. Okay, okay. I didn't think I did well enough to earn a burn bonus round. Um, crap. What was I talking about? Ah. I earned two bonus rounds. I thought that was pretty bad, personally, but whatever. Um, I completely forgot what I was- Oh yeah, I, I think maybe I should have streamed it, and I did stream some practice earlier. I just- I was thinking, where's your god? Rude. What do you mean you can't- I think no legs is a big liar, personally. The bee- Bees?! Rainbow Road! I hate Rainbow Road. I hate every Rainbow Road. It's so shiny. Okay, actually though, Anna, not preferred boss killer. Let's try this one. Wait, what are your, ah. Bomb damage, not a big deal. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, I don't I don't like um Rainbow Road pretty much ever. Like the Mario Kart 8 one is okay. But uh whoa. Excuse me. You're dramatic. You're not cute at all. Where's your cute thing that controls you? Oh, it's the it's one of the golems. It's not very cute, but I mean, it's still a little thing, controlling a huge thing. So we've kept the theme, aw. I like your boss theme. Oh, speaking of boss themes, the uh, CDs are out. Uh, I, I'm not sure if you can, I think you can buy them on Bandcamp? I, uh, I'm not doing myself any favors here. But yeah, um. The physical copies of the Bullet Heaven 2 soundtrack are out. You can, 
think they're on Bandcamp. Oh, there'll, there'll be a link in the description. I, uh... I was looking at the Cupo store and I couldn't figure out how to get it. But, uh, Ferrano was actually nice enough to send me a copy. Not particularly in advance, but I mean, I got one of the first of those out, I think. Um, that's why I don't know exactly how to buy the physical copy. Um, ah. You can also buy, um... Aw, oh, I keep wasting it! Stop wasting things, Tap Tap, you're a jerk. Um... What?! I can't believe I took a hit there. There? One more bomb would have done it. And you got hit, Tap Tap. You screwed it up. You could just... Screwed. Maybe I should have gone for that bo bomb damage boost. Um, but yeah, Bullet Heaven... Or not Bullet Heaven. Epic Battle Fantasy IV's physical soundtrack, you can just still buy it on Bandcamp. Um, I actually accidentally bought two copies of Bullet Heaven IV's soundtrack. Or not Bullet Heaven IV. Epic Battle Fantasy IV. I can't see shit. Ugh. Um, I've never bought physical on Bandcamp before, so I just bought... I thought I was buying the CD, and I bought the digital version. I'm like, ah, whatever. So then I got the physical copy, too. Um, I already had, um... From back when Ferrano was known as Hi Hyconic Falcon X, I believe. Um, uh, I got her on... I think she sold them from eBay. The, um... The, uh... Yes, hello. The soundtrack for Epic Battle Fantasy 3, Bullet Heaven 1, and uh, Adventure Story. So once my Epic Battle Fantasy 4 disc arrives, I think I will have all of the physical copies of the uh, all of the official Epic Battle Fantasy stuff. What? H how do you keep living with a sliver? Just stop that. It's rude. I really like this pattern, this is really cool. I love maze patterns that aren't super annoyo. Super annoyo! Speaking of super annoyo, I see you, Parker. I saw you out of the corner of my eye. I saw you. Oof. What are you doing? What was that? That was crazy short. Bomb timing. Uh-oh. Oh. Was that not perfect? No, I think I got hit or did a... Yeah, I got hit. Um. Oh. Is there just... What are you doing, Parker? I hear you, but I don't see you. That's never a good sign. Parker! Oh, you're in the... Never mind. Now he's gonna come here and I didn't want him to come here. That's... Good thinking. Anyway, maybe I should've... Going back to before, I think I'm gonna. Ah. I'm just gonna. What are you doing? I think I'm bumping something. I keep hearing something bumping, but I don't. It doesn't seem to be Parker's fault. I just assume everything wrong in my house is Parker's fault. In fact, sometimes um, the Steam overlay was covering something important when I started the game once. I just yelled, Parker! Just because something was obstructing my screen and my brain just assumed it had to be Parker. But it was the Steam overlay, so I just yelled at my Steam and called it Parker. Um. I was just. Anyway, it wasn't important. I was just gonna reiterate. I really do not intend to let any more Let's Plays slip again. And I may go back and sort of finish up some unfinished business. Oh, it's this, it's this, it's the boss making a sound that sounds like Parker knocking something over. 
If you want to make a boss harder for me, just make sounds that sound like um, a cat destroying my entire house. See, that, that sounds so much like Parker, you know, like, knocking over something precariously balanced at the edge of a table. I <laughs> guess they're easier to Oh, oh. There was a joke a few times ago about um, weather types being in Epic Battle Fantasy V, and that is a real thing. And I asked Matt if airstrikes are seriously going to be a weather type, and they are, which is great. <laughs> Meow? Alright, let's... I guess we need... We'll take a peek at space. We can breathe! Oh my god, cats. <laughs> Why are you feel? Oh, you're on a star. Right. Anyway, next episode, we will tackle and horribly fail at space level. I may actually... Th there's eyes on the stars! It's kind of terrifying. Anyway, next time, we will finish this up and... I'm not sure. Maybe I'll stream me practicing for the other, the extra stuff, because I mean, um, I'm not sure if I would just. There's a bunch of extra level, like, bosses, and then there's extra bosses in each world, and then there's a survival level you get for beating the boss. I'm not really sure how I would fit that into a Let's Play other than, you know. Well, I wouldn't want to Let's Play the triple star or showcase sort of thing anyway. I don't know, but maybe I'll stream once I finish the normal Let's Play. Yeah, sorry this this one sort of went off the rails. This was not my intention. But uh, this one thing I'm going to try to fix this year is not mess up stuff like that. Anyway, next episode, we will shoot the stars. <laughs>